Here is another example of some calculations using the uh, lattice structure. Uh, we want to determine the atomic radius of molybdenum, which has a body-centered cubic lattice structure, and its density is 10.28 grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so this problem we're uh, working from density, and we want to find the uh, atomic radius, which is going to come from the dimensions of its uh, unit cell. All right, So it's body-centered cubic, which looks something like this, where you have on each of the eight lattice points an atom, and then a lattice point right in the center of the cube. That is body-centered cubic. All right, So if I can get the dimensions of this uh, unit cell, for molybdenum, I can use that to calculate the radius. Right? So basically what I need to do is find the mass of the unit cell, and then I can cancel out the density, uh, or cancel out the grams from the density, and get cubic centimeters. That will be the volume of this unit cell from which I can find uh, the length of a side, and we'll work from there to find the radius. Okay, so let's see um, how this is going to pan out. We have, first of all, um, how many atoms in the unit cell. Okay, we have one from the eight corners. Okay, remember we're cutting uh, through the center of each of these atoms. So in, in each corner, there's actually one eighth of an atom within the unit cell and uh, all together those will make one and then there's one completely within the unit cell so that will be two atoms per unit cell okay and what is my mass in uh, of those two atoms well i can look at the periodic table and find uh, molybdenum. Okay, here is uh, molybdenum, 95.96 grams per mole. Okay, so 95.96 grams per mole. Um, and 95.96 grams to one mole. Now, I need atoms, not moles. So, um, that's where Avogadro's number comes in, and there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole, all right? So now my atoms cancel, my moles cancel, and I have grams per unit cell, okay? So um, at this point now, I can throw in the density to get the volume per unit cell. Right? So I need the grams to cancel, 10.28 grams per uh, cubic centimeter. Now my grams cancel and I have the volume of the cubic cell. So let's go ahead and calculate this. I have um, two times 95, oops, um, let's do that again, 2 times 95.96 um, divided by 6.022 exponent 23, and then I'm going to divide that again by 10.28, and I end up with 3.10 uh, times 10 to the negative 23rd. So 3.10, and I can go ahead and, and throw in the other zero there just to keep an extra uh, significant figure. Times 10 to the 23rd. Actually, I do have four significant figures there, so I might as well keep that many. And this is cubic, uh, sorry, this is 10 to the minus 23rd. Uh, cubic centimeters right, per unit cell. 
So now how am I going to find the length of one side of the unit cell? That is the volume of the unit cell. So I need to take the cube root of this value to give me the, uh, the length. And if I do that, um, what I'm going to do here is uh, to take the cube root, you can just raise it to the power of one third. So if I take this and raise it to, um, put this in parentheses, uh, one divided by three, close the parentheses, equals, and I get 3.14 um, times 10 to the negative eighth. Okay, 3.14 times 10 to the negative eighth, and that is, now I have, I've taken the cube root of this, so that cancels, and I end up with centimeters. Okay, so that's centimeters per side of the unit cell, and um,